ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kenya's most comprehensive political analysis show. Definitely, we are here on the Candy Talk, and as usual, we want to talk about the raft of issues that are actually taking place in this country with regards to the governance and how Kenya Kwanzaa administration is progressing so far. I'm joined by Professor Aman Manyara. How are you, sir? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I want us to have this conversation here that has just been uh, actually acted by the Education uh, Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu talking about the change uh, in grading of uh, the uh, KCAC examinations there. And they're saying that right now we will not actually have the initial formula that was used. But then it's talking of making all the mathematics compulsory plus maybe one language and all that. When you compare this kind of new grading system that wants to be implemented by the, uh, by the government in a bid to increase uh, the number of uh, students who would actually transit to uh, the university or other institutions of higher learning and the previous one, what then would be your view on them? You know, I, I understand that churches in Europe are empty uh -huh. and they one will therefore and, uh, be forgiven if they went out recruiting more Christians so that they can fill the churches. Uh -huh. Now, the concern of government, mm -hmm. if I get, get you right, mm -hmm. and I've heard something the same, mm -hmm. is to how more students join the university, for example. Yes. Let's Are they see. even prepared to handle the ones they have? You know, I keep saying this is a useless country. Mm -hmm. And this, this kind of thing is what you shall pay for. That's why we shall remain a poor, backward, dirty country. <laughs> Universities cannot handle the numbers they have now. <laughs> and somebody is saying we want to make it easier so that we get many students calling for qualifying. There is an agenda from the West to destroy Africa through destroying education. <laughs> and even men and women who have gone to to invest and got an education are not seeing this simple agenda. Uh, are you seeing the Africa? Africa is a sleeping giant mm -hmm. and all indicators of waking up are in place. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that remains is for Africa to get its education right. Because the penetration of education is now high. Many young people are educated mm -hmm. and they will not allow the West to exploit Africa. And the only thing the West can do today mm -hmm is to ensure they kill education in Africa. How does the West so one way of killing education, uh -huh. you want to tell me now, we want to make passing an exam so easy mm -hmm. so that we have more numbers going to university and other tertiary institutions. And I'm telling you, as a person who works at the university, the universities can hardly handle the numbers. Mm -hmm. The numbers are too many for the universities. We are not giving Kenyans education at our universities. Mm -hmm. If you are training in dentistry, you are supposed to have your chair. One, chair pass training student. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's the case in this country. This is nonsense. Mm -hmm. We should not allow foreigners to kill our education. Look at this nonsense of what they call 100% transition. Mm -hmm. A school can ha that can hardly handle 400 students is given 1,600. Mm -hmm. What education is going on in that school? All libraries in most of these schools have been turned into dormitories. Mm -hmm. Dining rooms, dining halls have been turned into dormitories. 100% transition. This is engineered from the outside to kill education in Africa. So when you tell me you want to increase the number of students who qualify for university, mm -hmm. when the, the government can hardly handle the numbers we have, mm -hmm. it's your country. You can mm -hmm. kill it. We're here talking about this issue, but then this comes at the back of the recommendations that were actually made by the uh, Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms. You remember this party was actually constituted by the President when he arrived. And looking at a number of things that have taken place, I saw the President talk at that time, yes, and he, 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 he talked of uh, CBC, Likwena, Leta, Mambo, Tume, Russia, definitely trying to implement what this Working Party uh, actually did. Did we have a Working Party? Of course, it was a working party on education reforms. Well, yeah. It is the same same working party, and that that actually those people hardly know their names. Okay, they hardly. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> so if I sit with any of them here, I tell them <laughs> what were you talking that working party? Start. None of them will say anything. Th those, those those were professors. No, it's not about professor. It's about, about we know this uh -huh. country and we know who can say something, <laughs> and you know under what circumstances <laughs> you can get information about education. <laughs> Prof. We are people like Ominde, people like Gashadi, people like Mackay. Mm -hmm. We know how this was done. Mm -hmm. This one was a political arrangement. We are cobbled quickly. Mm -hmm. 
with the desired ends in mind. But of course, we had a number of uh, actually stakeholders from the institutions of higher learning, a number of vice Let me tell you this. Uh, Let me tell you this. Uh -huh. If there was a serious attempt to look at education in this country, I would know. Okay? I would know. So this one is not serious at all? No. So it's, it's, I, I understand that it's the same same working party that gave this recommendation. If they, ask, I mean, they, if they came here and asked them, uh -huh. one after the other, mm -hmm. can you explain this nonsense of getting more students to join a university? And that is the Which you touched in the future. You know, uh -huh. let us agree. Mm -hmm. Tertiary institutions, institutions, let's talk about university for example. <laughs> there are many universities in this country that are hardly good high schools. They're just high schools or primary school teacher co colleges elevated to universities. They don't have anything that can make them a university. Zero. Number one. And why are they there and they have students? Because we have over admitted. In 1990, when we were admitting our first 844 candidates, the exam that had been done in 1989, the first 844, was new. Everything was new. And as usual with human beings, when something is new, they may not understand the pieces properly. So the performance was low. Because of the low performance, we decided to lower the entry requirement from our B and brought it to C+. To address a problem that was temporal. Soon, even a B could not join the university. Right? Go outside there and take a register of how many students scored B, B plane, and could not join the university in the past 10 years. They are in there hundreds of thousands, if not millions. They are there. They did not join. Then Matiani comes in with Magoa. Because a naughty Matiani balls, then the people begin, cannot pass exams. Again, we say, woo, Matiangi has made it difficult for university to get students. Then we go back, everybody who gets C+, can now join university. And now we are saying, we are not satisfied with that, we are saying, even after C+, has joined university, we still want more. So let us reduce the qualification further. Because to arrive at that C plus is some computation that produces a certain kind of student. So we are saying let's lower from C plus to D plus to take it to university. We are sick people. Hmm. We are sick. Prof, we've had universities here grapple with cash crunch therein. And this very working party that we are talking about here mm. was actually compromised, uh, comprised of, uh, um, it, it actually comprised of a number of uh, uh, university professors and uh, even some vice chancellors therein. All these people know the kind of problems that bedevil our institutions of higher learning. Why is it that they would still go ahead and give such kind of recommendation? That's why I'm telling you, those are not people who understand anything. Hmm. Yeah, they, they are no. They can come here and tell them you don't understand anything, because you know C plus. You know C plus. <laughs> yes, of course I do. If you remove those comparison subjects, <laughs> you remove Swahili's comparison, <laughs> English is comparison, mathematics comparison. <laughs> you must have one physical, one science, and then those you know those groups. <laughs> if you open it, the people who had C- minus and D+, plus will go to C+. Plus. Stupid! I can't believe this! And we're talking about education. These are, these, these are, they, what kind of people are these? If you remove the comparison, if you look at a person who got D+, plus or, or C, let's say it's from C, and they say there's nothing comparison apart from mathematics, they will all jump to B-, minus C+. Plus. Hey, come on! Oh God! That's what I'm saying. These are village professors. These are village teachers. They are not. These are not people with brains. Just get a just get a result slip of a student who got who got C minus or C. And then you then say there's nothing compulsory. We just want to arrive at the points. They will only jump to C plus B minus. All of them. It is that compulsory from groups, mathematics, Swahili, English, the group of humanities, geography or history or CRI, then physical, uh, the sciences, physics or uh, chemistry. It is, it, is, it, is, it is that picking from all those groups mm -hmm. that makes getting C plus very difficult. Mm -hmm. You get it? So if you remove it, 
even deep plus will join to C plus. And okay. therefore, the people you are calling professors, mm -hmm. and they mark students, they know a C plus student, the kind of brain a C student is. Mm -hmm. And they are telling us, we want now to bring D plus to universities. And then you tell me those are professors. These are village teachers. Okay, those are your, your words. Then. I'm so annoyed. I'm annoyed because <laughs> the only way the West will keep Africa where it is, <laughs> is by killing education. Hmm. Let's talk about Swahili. Prof. Mm. It was compulsory before. Yes. Right now... No, it's Swahili is not. You can imagine what making Swahili compulsory has done to Swahili in this country. <laughs> and Swahili is now spreading. Swahili is a UN, lang is it UN lang language. <laughs> it's an AU language. <laughs> One of the factors responsible for the spread of Kiswahili has been the fact that it is a comparison subject. It has contributed. And speaking our language makes us part of who we are. Mm -hmm. it, it, our nationhood is defined by, among other things, and top there is we speak Kiswahili. It is spreading in the region. We are inviting other East Africans for you to join the East African community. You must have the proficient in Kiswahili to some degree. We are encouraging those countries, DRC and South Sudan and whatever these countries, to begin offering Kiswahili as a comparison. Then here we are saying it's no longer comparison. That's what I'm telling those people are not, those are not educated people. They don't know what they are talking about. You can imagine if Kiswahili had not been made comparison in the, when it was made. The state of the development of Kiswahili in this country, the state of Kiswahili in this country and in this region, will be so low down there. Mm -hmm. During our days, we used to laugh at Kiswahili teachers when we were Kiswahili. Because it was not a comparison. Subject ya mwalimu wa Kiswahili na kuja na chukulio na mwalimu wa mathematics kufundisha. Kama ya PE na CRE. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. Of course I do. So then you want me to call these people professors? Right now they're saying... I have my reservations about, about them. Mm -hmm. No. So definitely Kiswahili will be affected there. It, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Look here. It, passing Kiswahili is very difficult. Mm -hmm. There are many students who will be getting good call, go, go, going to where they are supposed to go. Mm -hmm. But because of Kiswahili, like during our days, mm -hmm. Form 4, we used to have Form 4 and Form 6, people could not get Division 1 and Division 2 because of mathematics. Mm -hmm. So you go in Division 2, although your points are for Division 1, because you didn't get mathematics. Mm -hmm. Today, Kiswahili is compulsory, and it does affect certain students in their performance. Mm -hmm. But it has a bigger national goal okay. of national unity, mm -hmm. of togetherness. And the people are even thinking, Africa requires to have one language. Mm -hmm. And Kiswahili is competing more favorably than any other African language. Okay. When we are moving in that direction, some thugs are telling us that we remove Kiswahili. Because if you say Kiswahili is not compulsory, Ah, the number of students who will take it, hmm. it will drop to nothing. And oh God, please the, don't ask me mm -hmm. again. That don't ever mention again there were professors in that working party. I'll get annoyed. <laughs> and they are my are. friends, you know. Uh -huh. You know, some of them well, are my friends. <laughs> some of them we work with. Some of them are my seniors. Some of them are my bosses. <laughs> but I do not see the professor in them if they can't see a simple thing. <laughs> Look, let me give you something else. In some countries in Southern Africa here, mm -hmm. Southern Africa, nothing is comparison. You go to school and do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You get it? People go to school in the morning hours. Afternoon people don't. Education standards are so low. People can hardly speak English after, after even, I don't know what level. Mm -hmm. people, people hardly know anything. And that's why Kenyans have a field day. Doing jobs in those countries, Southern Africa, Namibia, Botswana, where? Because education is nothing to them. Nothing is comparison. Mm -hmm. Education has some measure of pain. Please, I did history of education. Mm -hmm. And these guys you are telling me are educated people. Education is not that something. Not very many people can go through a painful experience smiling. I remember during my classes at university. We are given the Chinese example, where the exam was such a serious thing. Even the Egyptian system, man, for which kind of Jesus were going through, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ and so on, a very serious. If you now want to make education as mm -hmm. useless as we are saying, mm -hmm. 
We have made many use, things useless in this country. Mm -hmm. Let education just go down and down. Every year we, we keep taking it down. Uh, it's, it can't go lower than this. Okay. Finally, Prof, we are actually living in a technology-driven world and science is at the center of it. Yes. Definitely, we understand that this new grading model will actually affect the sciences as well. Yes. What do you make of that? Are we headed in the right direction <laughs> in terms of technological advancement? <laughs> if it has been difficult to get people who have done mathematics and sciences <laughs> on board, and now you make it not compulsory, how much more difficult will it be? <laughs> we shall make many steps backwards. <laughs> My challenge has always been, why do students not do well in mathematics and sciences? <laughs> My answer is the teaching. The teaching of mathematics is so badly done that students think it is difficult. I have been thinking about re rethinking teaching methodology mm -hmm. when it comes to sciences and mathematics. Mm -hmm. This is where research should go. We, we research into the teaching of mathematics, the teaching of the sciences. I enjoyed sciences because of my teacher in class five. Mm -hmm. Soita, I remember him. Soita, you can imagine class five. How many years would that will be? Mm -hmm. Old as I am. He came with experiments in class. Class five. I'm not taking from five. I'm saying class standard five. We were doing experiments. I just began to enjoy science. Then I went to a school that many foreigners used to want to teach because of the climate. Nyahururu. Just because t 4 High School is now called the rumor. Many volunteer teachers from America, the UK and other people and it had interesting admissions mm -hmm. because there was a school in Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. You can imagine how many districts were in Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. We were with the Maasai people, with the Elegon Maasai people, with Pokot. So everybody wanted that school. Many teachers wanted it. Mm -hmm. I got some of the best teachers in science, although I didn't fi finish my school there mm -hmm. for reasons that I'll put in my memoirs. Mm -hmm. By Form 2, I could do Form 4 chemistry and get a distinction too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because the teachers. We did chemistry, it was so simple. Mm -hmm. But I can still remember all these processes. I can remember we started the first lesson was on, on light. What was it? On gee, something, you know, on light. Mm -hmm. Appeal like this reflection point, point of what? The teacher. There was a teacher like a hippie called Mr. Taylor. Mm -hmm. My form one, form two, a physics teacher. Okay. Physics looks like eating bananas. Mm -hmm. So now we are saying we are comfortable where nothing is comparison. I want to go and enter a girl's school mm -hmm. or a secondary school. Mm -hmm. I want to go and enter Lenana High School. Mm -hmm. I want to go to a Lance Girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are extremes. But an average school, Nyabururu Girls, mm -hmm. Bunyore Girls, Tumutumu Girls, uh, Nyeri High School, Kagumo High School, this average school. I want to enter and see out of the 200 from force, how many will be doing chemistry, physics? Mm -hmm. How many will be doing uh, biology? If they get to 10%, you'll tell me. Mm -hmm. They will not be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're <laughs> saying you can't believe these I are can't people. believe these are people who have gone to school suggesting. What we need to do is uh, why do students fear mm -hmm. certain subjects? Okay. Why is English performed badly, worse than even Sanders? Why do students fear poetry, which is something to be enjoyed? Mm -hmm. If you have had the benefit of education, okay. you should enjoy po poetry, mm -hmm. expression. Why is the problem? Is the teaching. Okay. But not to say mm -hmm. that... Uh, we, 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 we make it easier for students to go to university. Mm -hmm. Then we have the current D plus brain mm -hmm. and you take it to university. Well, hmm. well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Haman Manura. He is saying that he can't believe this is happening in the country. Well, weigh in on this conversation and tell us what you think about the new grading system by the uh, government, basically the Minister of Education being at the center of this. Do you think that perhaps they are trying to bury the education in this country as prof is saying it here well let's wait and see what is it that will take place with regards to what is, uh, different reforms that are taking place therein remember our team is still on the ground and we'll keep you up to date with comprehensive analysis of everything taking place in the country till we have this conversation again 
Have yourself a lovely day. My name is Evans Okinyi.